time, we're off to Bay's Brewery in Nelson and meet up with Peter and Jeff to chat about their brews and the brewery history. About 18 years ago, a group of um, businessmen sort of got together and said, right, um, if we've got a collective, we can at least get something of a size going. Rather than sort of go incrementally up, we can yeah. be a size to start off with so that we can supply a, you know, a, a reasonable volume. And that's basically what we did. We decided to have a good quality beer, uh, and affordable, and we only started off at three mainstream beers, uh, well basically two, draft and dark, added the lager, uh, then we sort of bought in the, in the Harleys, uh, and then we got a wee bit sort of more adventurous, decided to go alcoholic lemonade, then the cider, and then it just basically the Bengal bitter, the Doppelbock, the Pilsner, etc. And latterly, uh, the bourbon and cola and the tequila and lemonade. There's about oh, 40,000 litres worth there. Yep. And you know, we supply pretty close to 80 different outlets for uh, beers, etc. Yeah. That's right, top of the South Island? Or, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mainly predominantly Marlborough Nelson. Bay's Brewer Jeff is back from deliveries and we catch up with him to have a chat about the beers and their ingredients. That's our pills now. It's a European stock, so it's like low to medium range. What, what hops are you using on this? Halatel, Super Alpha, d -Sars, and it's late hop with the uh, Fuggle Cone hop. Okay, that's an interesting yeah. mix, isn't it? Yeah. Well, the Fuggle, hop, yeah, the Fuggle Cone hops, um, we basically did the first three, brewed it, tasted it, just needed, you know, something a bit more over the, on the edge sort of thing for yep. it. It was a bit tame, we thought, for a Pilsner sort of thing. My theory is if um, I don't like it, then there's no point trying to sell this sort of thing, because I want to be able to drink it myself. Yep. <laughs> so what's your, what's your biggest seller overall? I mean, um, the biggest seller's probably uh, be draft and lager, probably. And they're more of a mainstream type of beer, as far as flavour goes. But um, I have to admit, there is. New Zealanders are getting more educated as far as more hoppier beers sort of thing and more craft beers going that way. So the Bengal Bitter, which is 5.2% uh, alcohol, um, it's got four different types of hops. It's got the uh, Super Alpha, the Hallow Tower again, and it's got the B Sars, and then we do a late hop again of exactly the same, the Fuggle, New Zealand Fuggle hop as a cone hop. Um, slightly more cone hops obviously and that um, just puts it on the edge. Yep. Instead of using your pale malt we use probably um, probably a 75% Munich malt um, so hence your colour. Well I'll uh, better just finish up my beer and we should hit the road and yeah on to the next brewery isn't it? Yeah. Always on to the next brewery. Yeah thanks a lot for your time. Nice to meet you. It's good to see awesome. you. Yeah. Yep. Me too Cheers, Jeff. Yep. Enjoyed it. Yep. So um, we'll catch you next time. Yep no doubt. Okay. Hope you enjoyed the beers. This time it's Founders Brewery, which can be found in Founders Historic Heritage Park. The park is set up to give a glimpse of yesteryear, and it just so happens that the brewery itself has a fascinating history. The Duncan family have been brewers in New Zealand for six generations. Not bad for a young country. How are you, John? Hello. Good, Good to see you. you. This is uh, Kelly Ryan. G'day, John. John nice to meet you. So, John, do you want to tell us a little bit about Founders Brewery? You know what you guys are doing here. What sort of beers you're doing? Yeah. Um, yeah, we're a certified organic brewery, and we've been here for ten years, and we do a range of obviously organic beers. Um, and the family's been brewing in Nelson for 160 years. So again, what about you, the beers themselves? Do you want to give us a bit of a, a, a lowdown on, yeah. on what type of beers um, you're doing? We, we've got four, five main beers, three lagers and two ales. And we do a series of seasonal beers and special beers. And do you think, I mean, the public response to the organic beer thing is pretty positive? You know, you get a lot yeah. of uh, yeah. interest and, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, we sell it primarily as a, as a, I guess, premium beer with the bonus of being organic. Yeah. And also certified kosher. Yeah. Fantastic. So, so what, so what was the sort of road to becoming, you know, becoming organic? Was it a difficult one? Were, were many people doing that when you when you um, decided to, to go no, down this path? No, we were the first to be certified organic. Um, but you know, 160 years ago, when my great great grandfather was brewing, by nature the beers were organic. So, yeah. it's just repeating history. Yeah, yeah. Going mm. back to how it was. Yeah. So, Excellent. can you sort of give us a bit of background of? Um, the, the location here of uh, the brewery and, and why it's located in this part of town? Yep. Um, well, Founders Park's a, a replica village of early Nelson. Um, the original family brewery was pulled down um, and we reestablished the family brewery in, 
in this historic site here. Mm -hmm. My grandfather's house is just as you come in the windmill, you probably see there's a beer, beer display in there. Mm -hmm. And um, so there's a lot of family history here as well. Fantastic. Yeah, so it just seemed a natural fit. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So you've also got a, a bit of history in the brewing industry before you started um, Founders, right? You were brewing somewhere previously? At, at Max. Yep. Yep. How yep. long were you there for? 12 years. Yep. Okay, so you were, oh, sort of must have been there quite early on in the... Um, pretty well after about the year. That been going about five years, I suppose. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I came on board. We started as a molster there mm -hmm. and then brewing. Well, speaking of the brewery, maybe we should go and uh, check it out. Have a look. Yeah, it's a good idea. Brewery. Yeah, yeah, let's yep. do it. Cheers. Founders is the only entirely certified kosher and organic brewery in New Zealand. Yeah. So this, how long has this actual brew plant, you know, this brew plant been in operation? A few uh, years. Just over 10 years. Oh, okay, yeah. Years. yeah. And what size brews are you doing, John? Uh, a thousand litre. Okay. Yeah. 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 So, and you've got a uh, bottling line here as well. Bottling line, yeah, yeah. Very much a handmade beer, hand yeah. bottled, hand oh, wow. capped. Fantastic. Hand labelled. That's cool. Obviously, being a small, relatively local brewery, do you find that you're getting a lot of the locals supporting supporting you, coming, walking in and, and having yeah. a few beers and walking yeah. home? And, yeah. it's and they, they bring their visitors. I mean, the locals sort of adopt you, whether it's us, our brewery, or any of the other local breweries. Yeah, yeah. They're very proud of, you know, their local breweries, wineries, and things like that. It's great. Visitors around. So, it's my son, Matt. Kelly Wright. Kelly. Matt. Yeah, Nicholas. Kelly, Matt. Nice to meet you. So, you're uh, the next generation. Yeah, why not? There's two of us, but yeah, I'm the senior of the two, so. Nice. A pretty uh, easy decision to, to become the, the sixth generation brewer, or was um, it? It wasn't even really a conscious decision, it just sort of happened. I mean, I went away to university and did my thing, and. Um, Ended up coming back working here over the summers. Dad was teaching me all the uh, the more interesting parts of the job, so I mm -hmm. sort of stayed really and have been here for six, six or seven, eight years now. Fantastic. So. Yeah. This store on the shelf back there, your first uh, first recipe you've sort of done yourself, and is it the Fair Maiden? Yeah, it's, since then, I mean, I, I do a lot of the seasonal beers and things like that in collaboration with, with Dad and Callum. Well, speaking of beer, maybe we should go and have a, a little uh, a taste of what you guys do. And John's great-great-grandfather, J.R. Dodson, started a brewery in Nelson back in 1854, with various members of the family working as maltsters, hop growers and master brewers. It's great to see this tradition being carried on by his family. Being an organic brewery, it must be a challenge at times with limited spectrum of ingredients to use. We're looking forward to seeing how the beers taste. We're quietly confident we won't be disappointed. It was actually supposed to be a um, the first dark beer, um, but it didn't add enough um, roasted malt, so it came out with quite a reddish colour and it poured with quite a good head. And we just looked and thought, oh, red head. Yeah, yeah. And then um, when you had the tall blondes <laughs> in the long back, it, and it sort of completes the set. But yeah. Yeah, a lovely sort of a, an estuary character that I didn't didn't find in the other two beers, which yeah. is. It's really nice, it's almost, almost an impression of sweetness coming from, from that ester as well. Uh, so this is the um, Fair Maiden Ale, which is a, uh, what we call a New Zealand pale ale. It's based loosely, uh, well more on an American pale ale style, um, but with the absence of any um, American hops, so it has New Zealand Cascade instead of the American varieties. That tends to give you a slightly gr more grassy character than, than what the overseas hops do, so we thought New Zealand Pale Ale would be more appropriate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I really love it. It's an awesome beer. Well done. Yeah, yeah. Me too. Love Cascade. Yeah, yeah. Cascade's hard enough to really, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, thanks, Luke. Thank you, John. Thanks, thanks you John. John. Yeah. Great to meet you. Cheers, yeah, man. Thank you very much. Just thanks yeah. a lot. Thanks Good luck with the project. Yeah, thank yeah. you very much. Uh, exciting. Yeah. Hit the road. Thanks very much, guys. Thank you. Cheers. 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 Cheers.